Welcome back YouTubers, this is Sharath. In the previous tutorial, we had stopped by creating the model class and you can find the code of that in the link in the description and in this tutorial, we will create the my adapter class. So let's get started. So we'll create a new Java class and name it as my adapter. Now this extends the recycler view. So we will extend recycler view dot adapter and here we should pass the my adapted generic class so my adapter dot view holder for now it will show the error because we need to implement the different methods here so first we'll implement the methods so we need all these methods so click ok here then we have to create a view holder class so create class view holder and we should extend recycler view dot view holder and we should create a constructor and that's it now we have to create the view it is basically from where you should take the view and display onto the list so we are taking the list from layout design so view I will name it as view equals layout inflated dot from parent dot get context dot inflate so we should pass three parameters here the first one is the layout resource file so r dot layout dot this layout resource file name which is layout design comma parent and we should pass the boolean here so it will be false now we should return new view holder and pass this view name here so which is view instead of null now we will come to view holder class here so view holder basically holds three three items in our example so which is this image view other two are this text views which is the app name and app developer so we'll go to my adapter.java class and we will create three items here so first one is image view private image view and we'll name it as logo and private text view and I will name it as name and the final one private text view and this is developer now you have to link this layout design dot xml to my adapter dot java so you should get this xml file into this java so in order to get that you have to do the following steps so logo so logo is nothing but this image view here so logo equals typecasting image view as we are inside this item view we should use item view dot find view by id r dot id dot so what is the id of this image view we have given it as app logo so app logo similarly we should do the same for name and developer and that's it for this class create a constructor here so first we will take this list items so in order to take this list items class should do as follows array list and pass the list items class here and I will name it as list items and you have to get the context of this my adapter dot my adapter class so context context now press alt and insert in order to create the constructor and 
press on the constructor so we want both of these to be the parameters so we have created the constructor now we'll go back to this on bind view holder which binds the data onto the view so what is the name of the holder here so my adapter.view holder so it has generated as holder so we will use holder dot name dot set text list items dot get position dot get app name so it sets the text of this name text view by getting the data from this model class so as it is the name of this getter it will get the data and put it onto this position so hence we have used this set text so similarly we should use this for developer so we should use set text for the text views and we should use set image resources for the image files so older dot logo dot set image resource list items dot get position dot get app logo so this name developer and logo are taken from this view older class and this get app name get app developer and get app logo are taken from this data class I think you understand in this now we will go to get item count now we have to return the list item so list items is nothing but this list items class so list items dot size now we will go to activity main.xml because we have forgotten to give the id for this in the previous tutorial so i will give the id as recycler view now we will go to main activity.java file private recycler view and i will name it as recycler view private recycler view dot adapter adapter so this recycler view dot adapter is nothing but this adapter class okay now we should link this recycler view to this java class in order to do that I cast it so recycler view equals select the view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view which is the id of this recycler view so next recycler view dot set as fixed size so it should pass the boolean as the parameter here so set as fixed size will be true and next we have to set the layout manager so recycle view dot set layout manager view in this example we will use linear layout manager and we'll pass context which is this now we have to set the adapter adapter equals new so we have given the name of the adapter class as my adapter so my adapter data dot give data and then context which is this so first we have passed the data dot give data because in the my adapter class the first parameter is the list items and the second one is this context so this list items data are present in this give data function it here and this is context now we have to 
set the adapter so recycle view dot set adapter and we should name pass the name of the adapter here so which is adapter so simply pass this name of the adapter and that's it now we will try to run this project and let's see if it works or not click on this play button and okay we successfully implemented this so as you can see here is the app logo and here is the app name and here comes the app developer thanks for watching guys and in the next tutorial we will learn how to make this cool stuff so if you press this grid it should show the grid view and if you press the list it should come back to this list view we will learn this in the next tutorial keep waiting